And I'm Michael. Welcome to 2016 Barbecue Wars in Port Macquarie. We're going to have a wander around and have a look at some of the guys that are cooking on Pro-Q and uh, see what they're cooking up today. So we're here with uh, Dan from the Smoky Hot Bros. So we're the 73301 Texas Barbecue Co. Scott from Blue Dog Barbecue, Smoke Machine. Steven from Grillin' Like a Villain at Port Macquarie. The boys from We're Smoking Something. The Social Smokers, Ryan and Craig. Mitch from Badass Barbecue. From Ultimate Barbecue, Ben and Amy. The boys from Agents of Q. The Smoke Face Grillers, all the way from Melbourne. Tony from The Beard and the Barbecue here at Port Macquarie. The Casual Smokers. Uh, Paul from Bulldogs Barbecue. First all Australian girl team that's competed so far, the Shang Sisters. Tim from May the Source Be With You, that's an amazing team name. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so you, you go. Said, yeah, no, you, you go. go. I was going to intro you. No, I'm just okay, this is Mikey right. from the Shank Brothers and oh, also yeah. a very famous reality TV show. <laughs> um, you're cooking on a Pro Q tonight. Uh, we, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? I well, see there's this pimped out lid. Well, this is my uh, trusty Pro Q. I've had this one from day dot. And uh, yeah, you know, we like to pimp it out. We got the Teltry gauge, we got our Shank logo. And what used to be a belt buckle <laughs> <laughs> is now, uh, yeah, the best looking lid in the business. Why do you love cooking on the Pro-Q? Mate, I love the versatility of it. I love how it all splits apart. You can throw it in the back of the car, take it everywhere. It's a yeah, great cooker. They run, you know, low maintenance. Just once you set them up and they're ticking along, walk away, have some beers. Good stuff. Good luck tomorrow, mate. Thanks, guys. We'll need it. Well, <laughs> Thanks. What's your favourite part of the Pro-Q? Nice and small. It's convenient. Holds its temp, it's super responsive. It's, uh, just versatility, I think, is one thing. Um, you can use it for so many different things water pan in, water pan out, that direct heat, that vertical heat. Um, just how versatile they are. Um, I like it because it's, it's a vertical stacker. You can actually stack, it's got two shelves. All right, we're here with Tim from May the Sauce Be With You. That's an amazing team name. And you're cooking on the Pro-Q tonight. Uh, what are you yeah. cooking? Um, we're cooking, we've got our uh, pork shoulder on <clears throat> at the moment, getting ready to put our beef on as well. But um, we're also cooking uh, chicken, lamb, and um, pork ribs. Perfect. So tell us, what do you like about the Pro-Q? Um, just how versatile they are. <clears throat> we're cooking everything that we cook at home and um, all the family favourites. So best thing about the Pro-Q, whether we're grilling or doing the low and slow, we, um, we can do everything on it. So yeah, we, we, we're doing what we love, love doing at home, we're confident with. So that's why we're yeah, great with the competition as well. Excellent mate, fantastic. Um, and this, you know, you've probably had this one with your team name, but are these the droids that you were looking for? <laughs> they are the droids. They're, they're, we're definitely, um, we, we want to get them painted out. We've seen some of the, the, the pro cues with the R2-D2 paint jobs. So ah. see so how we go next year. We're hoping to get some paint jobs and yeah. And um, yeah, rep represent the Star Wars fully. Absolutely. Definitely. Very good, mate. Where have you taken this? Has this been down, down any adventures, any obscure locations you've gone and cooked? Well, well we take it everywhere with us. We um, we go up on the Central Coast a lot, take it up there, up on the beach, and take it up there with everybody, have some good parties and cook some a lot of food on there, feed a lot of people. But yeah, it, it goes everywhere. We go to the beach, take the bottom petition. We don't take both units, yep. just, the, just the one. Yep. Indirect grill on the beach, spend the day there. <laughs> Down the beach, you know, everyone does yeah. it, but it's perfect for that. You just go into, I call it Sputnik mode, where it's just the lid and the base, you know, little thing, and it's awesome. Parents' house, parents' farm, family kind of gatherings, that sort of stuff. I've set it up out the factory at work, yep. um, literally <laughs> on the road. Alright, we're here with Mitch from Badass Barbecue. Um, this is a different pro through what we've seen around the traps tonight. Um, apart from the bottle opener on the side, which is an amazing feature, what is your favourite thing about this beast? Uh, the best thing about this particular unit is it just holds its temp. It's super responsive, so we can uh, open the valve to let more oxygen or cut the oxygen off and we'll see a big dip or rise in temperature uh, quite rapidly. Mm -hmm. And you're a seasoned veteran of barbecue competitions. You've taken out a couple of titles. What's your favourite thing to cook on the Pro-Q and just barbecue in general? Uh, we use this particular machine mainly for our briskets and our pork. Mm -hmm. uh, we find that just because of the, the consistent temperatures, it just helps us sustain that longer cook. Um, 
with even temperatures throughout. So fantastic. What's your favourite dish when you're not in competition on the pro kit? Mate, I am a sucker for pork ribs, uh, but just recently we've been getting into some Brahmin hump, which is really interesting stuff. So yeah, it's a uh, beefy, big, awesome stuff. I think lamb's pretty good at the moment. Oh, we love our pork. Fish and ribs. Yeah, they eat beef short ribs for sure. Always love brisket. The That's holy grail of barbecue. Yeah. Uh, Argentinian beef short ribs in there? Barbecue. Yeah, uh, pork ribs. Beef ribs. Brisket is absolutely my favourite. Pork shoulder. Uh, beef shorties.